Lesson 124. Let me remember I am one with God. Today, we will again give thanks for our identity in God. Our home is safe, protection guaranteed in all we do, power and strength available to us in all our undertakings. We can fail in nothing. Everything we touch takes on a shining light that blesses and that heals. At one with God and with the universe, we go our way rejoicing with the thought that God himself goes everywhere with us. How holy are our minds, and everything we see reflects the holiness within the mind at one with God and with itself. How easily do errors disappear and death give place to everlasting life. Our shining footprints point the way to truth, for God is our companion as we walk the world a little while. And those who come to follow us will recognize the way because the light we carry stays behind, yet still remains with us as we walk on. What we receive is our eternal gift to those who follow after and to those who went before or stayed with us a while. And God, who loves us with the equal love in which we were created, smiles on us and offers us the happiness we gave. Today, we will not doubt his love for us, nor question his protection and his care. No meaningless anxieties can come between our faith and our awareness of his presence. We are one with him today in recognition and remembrance. We feel him in our hearts. Our minds contain his thoughts. Our eyes behold his loveliness in all we look upon. Today, we see only the loving, and the lovable. We see it in appearances of pain, and pain gives way to peace. We see it in the frantic, in the sad and distressed, the lonely and afraid, who are restored to the tranquility and peace of mind in which they were created. And we see it in the dying and the dead as well, restoring them to life. All this we see because we saw it first within ourselves. No miracle can ever be denied to those who know that they are one with God. No thought of theirs but has the power to heal all forms of suffering in anyone in times gone by and times as yet to come as easily as in the ones who walk beside them now. Their thoughts are timeless and apart from distance as apart from time. We join in this awareness as we say that we are one with God. For in these words, we say as well that we are saved and healed, that we can save and heal accordingly. We have accepted and we now would give, for we would keep the gifts our Father gave. Today, we would experience ourselves at one with him, so that the world may share our recognition of reality. In our experience, the world is freed. As we deny our separation from our Father, it is healed along with us. Peace be to you today. Secure your peace by practicing awareness you are one with your Creator as He is with you. Sometime today, whenever it seems best, devote a half an hour to the thought that you are one with God. This is our first attempt at an extended period for which we give no rules nor special words to guide your meditation. We will trust God's voice to speak as he sees fit today, certain he will not fail. 
Abide with him this half an hour. We will do the rest. Your benefit will not be less if you believe that nothing happens. You may not be ready to accept the gain today, yet sometime, somewhere, it will come to you, nor will you fail to recognize it when it dawns with certainty upon your mind. This half an hour will be framed in gold, with every minute like a diamond set around the mirror that this exercise will offer you, and you will see Christ's face upon it in reflection of your own. Perhaps today, perhaps tomorrow, you will see your own transfiguration in the glass this holy half an hour will hold out to you to look upon yourself. When you are ready, you will find it there, within your mind and waiting to be found. You will remember then the thought to which you gave this half an hour, thankfully aware no time was ever better spent. Perhaps today, perhaps tomorrow, you will look into this glass and understand the sinless light you see belongs to you. The loveliness you look on is your own. Count this half hour as your gift to God in certainty that his return will be a sense of love you cannot understand a joy too deep for you to comprehend, a sight too holy for the body's eyes to see. And yet, you can be sure someday, perhaps today, perhaps tomorrow, you will understand and comprehend and see. Add further jewels to the golden frame that holds the mirror off of you today by hourly repeating to yourself, let me remember I am one with God, at one with all my brothers and myself, in everlasting holiness and peace. Mm -hmm.